Hi, this is Alan Martin with Purdue BCM. Um, we're in the surveying lab. I'm going to show you some basics on the Trimble 773. In this video, we're going to be talking about the things you need to perform surveying with the Trimble 773. And I have some optional things on the table as well. You need a tripod with um, your standard bolt. So any tripod with a bolt will work. Then you have the instrument which is shown here. So this is the Trimble 773 with the tri brack on the bottom. Three screw. Um, you need a battery. You also have a 360 prism and its battery. Um, you can use any prism with the Trimble 773. Uh, the 360 prism is active so it, it'll actually communicate with the instrument. Um, so that's helpful when you have multiple instruments out there. Uh, you'll need a prism pole. This is a short extension for the pole as well as another point for the pole. And then this is a mount for the pole to mount your um, data collector or tablet. And then over here we have, we have the tablet. This is just the Trimble tablet that um, you can connect to any of the Trimble instruments. And then last we have a bipod that you use to set up and level the prism. This is the MT-1000 and its battery. Um, the MT-1000 is also called a 360 active prism. Active because it communicates with the instrument. Uh, this is the battery you need for it. You only need one battery and it lasts a while. Um, so some basic features is it's got 360 degrees of prism so you don't have to worry about which way you're facing um, the prism uh, based on the instrument. So you can be facing the instrument while you're collecting data and that doesn't matter. If you look on top it has a bubble to help level. The, the rod for the prism almost always has a bubble as well so you can usually use that bubble but this is also a bubble that you can use for that. Um, so on the bottom here you have the battery slot right here. Um, you put the leads in first and then you push until it clicks and then there's your battery in there um, and you can see this dial on the side here and when the lights green that means it's on and there's eight settings on the dial those settings you'll put into your um, data collector or your tablet like what we have and that'll help the instrument communicate with the prism so that's actually the channel it'll be on all right, so this is, the, uh, this is the prism pole for the Trimble 773 and the active prism. Um, so for this, it starts at about three feet and it has a point at the end. Uh, you can extend this rod by itself up to five feet with the prism on it. These markings have it in feet and then it also has it in meter. With the prism on there, it'll be five feet. So it has um, the male threads on the prism pole and then the, the prism itself has the female threads so you can just screw that right on there. You can actually read the exact height in, on there, put that into your tablet and then it will automatically remove five feet from the elevations. If you want to use a different pole or a different prism then you just measure up to the, the crosses in the, um, in the prism itself. Same can be done with this if you want to use it with a different pole. Um, what we also have is a, it's about a 16 inch extension, or you can also use it as a shorter tripod itself. In this case, you would have to measure from the ground, the end of the point of the, uh, uh, the prism pole up to the crosses on the prism, but you can also use this as an extension. So you just unscrew the point from it, um, as well as the threads. So then you have a female, and a male connection on the extension. You can screw that on there and then screw the prism up to the top of that. So this is the bipod for the prism pole. Um, so this is where you put the pole. You unscrew this, then you can slide the pole in and then you screw it to tighten it on the pole. And then it has two legs, it's a bipod. Um, and what you wanna do is actually set up your data collector or tablet on the leg side of the of the prism pole so it doesn't fall over um, 
So this is pretty easy to use. It just has the basic function of you can lengthen the legs, change the length of all the legs until you have the pole level, and then you just leave it. Um, so that's pretty simple to use. I'll explain that more in a later video. So this is the instrument itself. Um, first, you've got to put the battery in. Uh, you can see the leads right there. Here's the battery indicator. Press this little button, and then it'll tell you exactly how much battery is exactly to within 25%, I guess. Um, so to put the battery in, you push this down. This is on the left side of the instrument. And then, as you can see, the leads are right in there. So what you want to do is match them, those leads up with the leads on the battery. So you just slide that down in there. And then you can close it. And then you're powered up. So now I'll explain some of the functions that are on there. There are all three adjustment screws. Um, this is the power button right here. So I just pressed it on. And you have to do is press the button and it'll turn on the instrument. Um, over here, you have the focus for the optic. Um, on some of the models now, they don't actually even have an optic, but the 773 does. This right here is the camera. We'll talk more about that later. Um, that's a very useful tool. Up here you have the antenna. Um, the instrument the tablet communicate via Bluetooth, so this communicates with that. Um, here you have the gun sight, so then you can um, aim it at a point and get it exact before you actually look through the optic. Um, so now I'll look around on the front. There's the screen. It's on. You can't barely see it because there's there's not good lighting in here, but um, it, it tells you the channel and the network ID. You'll use that on the tablet. And it says waiting for connection. It is not currently connected to a tablet. So you'll have to connect it to a tablet and then it'll and it'll turn around and it'll know what it's doing. Um, these buttons, you can follow on-screen prompts and press these buttons to, this button will go down through the list, this will go to the top of the list, and this is enter. So uh, we'll talk more about that later. Here's the tri brack that's on the instrument. It's just your basic three, three screw system um, with the bubble right here. So you can see that. And then here's the optical plummet. So you can put the instrument right over a point, whether you're back siding or collecting from a known point. Here's the tablet. Um, you can use either your finger or a stylus. We have a stylus here. Um, if you look on the top, there's an antenna. This will help you communicate better with the instrument itself. Um, on the back, you have this, this plate right here, and this connects the, the instrument or the the tablet to the connection right here for the prism pole. Um, you can see right here there's a camera and it actually has a flash. Um, this is so you can take pictures while you're out surveying or just press the on button. It's already on so it just has to um, uh, come off the sleep. So just sign in and then it'll open this and it's just called Trimble Field Link. Um, it's opening right now. So that's just how you start the surveying process. We'll talk more about it later, how to exactly set up the instrument. This is the battery charger. It works for the prism and the instrument battery. Here's an instrument battery, and then here's the battery for the prism. So this, this is a pretty cool system because you can actually put a, a battery for the prism in and a battery for the instrument and it'll charge one at a time. Um, so it'll charge this one, and then after this is done charging, it'll charge this one.